close the page, and just kind of rerun it, and I have to log back on. Fortunately, I still have that password in the clipboard. So I'll log in as that, and then change password should work. So here's my old one, and here's the one I'm changing it to something I can actually remember. And we're good. So you can see very quickly we've added a lot of new features. Let's keep going. Let's hook up this uh, create account page. So this will show some of our final components here, the create user wizard. And this is pretty slick. Um, it's got really two steps. So you sign up for your account, entering all this information, and then you finished. I'm going to add a custom step. So let's add a step where the user could select their role. Now, you wouldn't normally do this. You're not going to let a new user change their role, but I just had to come up with some idea here. So let's say, choose your role, and this will allow us to select uh, select a role from those, this, the membership page that we set up. So for this, we need to drop into source code view. And I'm really just showing you, just so you can see the degree of extensibility we have. This is the wizard step that we just added, choose your role. Um, if we go back to the design mode, I'm going to need a couple things for this page. I just need um, select a role, and we'll drag in a list box there. Okay, now let's go back to the source code view. Now, I, I have a couple methods that I can handle. Um, when the page is activated, I'm going to call activate, activate well, it's really a step, and it's when it's deactivated, I'll call deactivate step. What I need is a couple of script blocks here of code that runs on the server. And I have these on the clipboard, so I'm just going to paste them in. So let me explain what these two methods do. When that step is activated, I'm using the, uh, the, roles, the roles variable just to get a list and binding it directly to the list box. When we move on to the next step, I'm simply finding whatever role was selected and adding it to uh, this new user account, adding the role to that user. So let's close this guy, and I want to use this step to create a user that doesn't have any administrative privileges. So I'll create an account called Mike. Okay. So we have a new account that's part of just the users group, and we finish, and we're done. So now we can log in as Mike. Cool, that all worked. Now here's the, here's the deal, here's what I want to do. I actually want these pages, manage accounts and display reports, which are, they're just dummy pages, but let's say I want to protect those, so those pages are accessible from anyone in the administrator's role, like Scott, but not accessible for, for someone like Mike in the user's role. So to do that, let's, uh, let's create a new folder here. I'll call it admin, and what I'd like to do is move these two files, display reports and manage accounts, into that folder. And that's a convenient place for us to, to hold pages that we want to be protected. So the way we go and do that, if we hit the ASP.NET configuration page again, there's a way for us to protect those pages. So under security again, under create access rules, we need to create two rules. So this admin folder, let's say if you're in the administrator's role, you're allowed privileges to those to any file on that page. And we create another rule. We'll exclude all other users, so they're denied. Now what that's really doing behind the scenes, if we hit refresh, is it created a web config file. When well, we could have done this directly. So you can see everything in this folder is denied unless you're in the administrator's role. Now since we moved these two pages inside the admin folder, if we ever want to get to them again, I need to modify the web sitemap. So the URL for those pages are now under admin. And, and this component, if you want to know what this is for, watch the, uh, watch the navigation video. This is used by the tree control on the left-hand side. So because we moved those, we have to keep that in sync. So now if I go back and log in as Mike, If we try to get to this Manage Accounts page, you can see it simply redirects us back into the login page because it knows that we don't have privileges. So if I log in as Scott, an account where we do have privileges, I can see the page. Of course, it's empty. I mean, we haven't really done anything in there yet. 
Um, however, notice this little problem right here, our image controls. If we bring up the properties, they're still pointing back to our main admin. It's pointing to a local folder called images under the admin folder, which we don't have. So in order to fix this last little problem, we need to go back to our master pages. When I created the master pages originally, I didn't think that those images would be accessed from anywhere but on the root. So see this image tag right here? What I'd really like is for the images to come off the top level. But if I put a slash, then it's, it's not going to find it in the membership um, website. So what I need to do is change this to an ASP image control and setting the run at equals server. By doing this, I have access to this feature that allows me to set a path, my image source. If I put a uh, if I put a tilde right here, that tilde will be mapped at runtime to the root of my site. What is this? Oh, image URL. Sorry. There we go. So I need to do the same with my other image. I gotta locate it. There's the first, here's the other one. So I'll copy just replace that stick the run at server in there and change source to that and stick in the tilde okay now when I go back to this page display reports of course I have to log in first which is nice I, it handled that for me automatically now I get my images to work which is great so the final thing I want to do if you notice if we log in as Mike the menu here still shows these as options, manage accounts and display reports. If we want to hide that, we need to modify the default behavior of the site, provi site provider. So for that, inside the web config, we need to add an entry for the sitemap. Now this is another block of text I have on the clipboard, so instead of typing it, I'll just paste it in. And what we're doing here is we're modifying, we're setting up our, our sitemap and the key line is this security enable, uh, security trimming enabled. Um, what that does is it uses the overall security settings and removes pages from the menu that you're not allowed to see. Let me just demonstrate it for you. So notice I don't have those pages here under the administration tab. I can still get to the main admin page, but I can't even see that I have those other options. But as soon as I log in as Scott, those options show up for me automatically. So all this code that we've done in the past 10 or 20 minutes, um, very little code, but all this functionality, if we had to do all this from scratch and code it with ASP.NET 1.1, probably take a week. And on top of that, we're, we're, we may have not even done it in a secure way. So we've got this whole neat system with very little code to create membership and roles that you can add right now to your websites.